Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Thanks so much for joining. Today is the much long awaited vlog sale that I mentioned a while back. I had talked about potentially selling some of my bags and I just didn't have a chance to get around to this vlog sale until now. Actually, my family and I are moving to a new apartment this week, so you can imagine it's a little bit of chaos here with lots of packing and decluttering and preparing for the move, and so I thought this would be the perfect time to go ahead and do the sale and hopefully find these beautiful pieces new homes. So the first item I'm gonna share with you is, dun dun dun, dun this is my vintage Prada. Before I give you a close up, let me just say that a number of you reached out to me on Instagram via DM asking if I would sell this bag and for all the details and all of you who had reached out to me were international meaning outside of the US and what we discovered was that unfortunately the international shipping and all the customs clearance requirements were quite prohibitive and so it just didn't work out so what I'm gonna say for this vlog sale unfortunately I am going to have to limit all of this to um, US customers or US residents only and I am very sensitive to the fact that my channel is supported by a number of you who are in Asia and Europe and all over the world so I do apologize if you're interested in one of these items and you happen to be outside of the US I just don't want to get packages lost and I also don't think it makes sense for either one of us to pay for hefty shipping costs I um, actually shipped out or I was supposed to ship out a giveaway item to a winner who was based in the Philippines a couple of months back and because of all that's going on in the world at the moment apparently they were blocking shipments from the US going to the Philippines so I actually had to ship it to a, a family member of hers um, here in the US who then I suppose will get it to the winner um, you know, one of my lovely subbies as soon as they get in touch. So long story short, it's a US sale. This is the first item. Like I said, vintage Prada seems to be a lot of interest in this bag. Um, this bag was quite expensive at the time, but since it is quite aged, I will be pricing it very reasonably. Here is the luggage tag that it comes with. It's still very much intact. It's got this beautiful pebbled leather but it's like a very soft smushy leather very thick very durable you have one magnetic closure here and then you've got these zips on each side now I'm going to show you they open very nicely if you just pull them apart like so but if you didn't want to bother with pulling the zippers apart normally what I would do is I would just close the clasp here and then because these zippers are quite buttery soft you can just pull it apart like so. So here I have a brand new bag organizer made out of felt. I got this from a random Etsy shop a while back. I actually got this for a different bag, but the dimensions worked out to be better for the Prada. So I think it should go in here nicely. Um, let me show you the inside. It's all fabric lined pristine in my opinion, considering how old this bag is. There are no stains, no spills, no wear, no tear, nothing of any kind that I can see here. Here you have a fairly nice sized zipper compartment. And then on the other side, you have two open pockets. Okay. Now let me show you, see this is how smushy it is without a bag organizer. So I'm going to include this in the sale. You see this bag or organizer has like a nice zipper to it. The hardware actually matches very nicely with the bag because it's matching gold. You've got open pockets both on the inside and the outside. So it's very nicely done. And the dimensions, like I said, are perfect for the Prada bag. So I will just include this in the sale. And this is brand new, like I said, never used, never put anything in it. So it should be in absolutely new, new condition. So I'm going to show you there is definitely some wear here, especially on the handles where all the glazing is. There is some wear and possibly like some scuffing and uh, cracking even. I don't know what to call it, but let me give you a close up. So this is just a sign of, you know, her age. Here you have the buckles. The leather is curling a bit. I'm sure you can uncurl them by leaving them like that for a little while but these are very much prone to curling. Something to keep in mind. There is the leather up close. Here's the bottom. You've got the metal feet. And then let me show you something very important in the front. First, you have the Prada 
logo up here with the aged brass hardware. And then down here there is, I think it's a watermark or an oil mark. There's a couple of little stains here that are barely noticeable. Probably can only see them because the sunlight is coming through the camera right now. But here there is a pretty noticeable uh, watermark or oil mark. I'm not sure how I even got this and I didn't notice it until it was there. So I guess because it's on the bottom of the bag, but it is there. Now, if you wanted to get some handbag spa products and try to rub that out, I've never tried. So that may work, but I wanted to fully disclose that right there. And then here I see some, um, what is this like leather scuffing? So let me see what else I can show you. So if you are a fan of Prada and you're a fan of this style tote, you know, quite large, quite uh, smushy <laughs> and this beautiful caramel tone and you're looking for something vintage, I have to say they don't make bags like this anymore. The vintage bags of any brand really if you're thinking of even like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, um, I think that vintage quality is so much better than modern day quality and that's probably just because of the material costs going up and up and up and they're cutting they're cutting corners now but i'll make sure to price this appropriately and the prices will all include u.s shipping as well plus insurance here you go and I'll also include the measurements of every item that I'm selling. So I'll try to be as precise as possible in terms of like the length and the width and the depth and all of that. Okay, so there is item number one. Let's move on to item number two. This one here is more of a contemporary designer. You may recognize it from the, the dust bag if you are a Tory Burch fan. This beauty here is probably about, hmm, I don't know, five to ten years old. Um, yeah, roughly about five to ten years old. I only wore this once or twice maximum. Um, just, I don't know, I think it was because my, baby, my babies, they're not babies anymore, but my two children were quite young at the time and I just didn't have any occasion to wear this kind of bag. But it is a Tory Burch and it's this beautiful dove gray. It has safiano leather so it's really durable you can scratch it and there will be no scuffs no, nothing showing up it's got this really pretty large quilting and then you have like this almost champagne gold hardware very discreet you've got the chanel-esque uh, leather and chain interwoven strap you can pull it like so and wear it crossbody i'll also put the strap drop lengths in the description box in case you are you know, more petite or quite tall, you can check out if this will work for you. And this is it doubled up. I would say this is in pretty much brand new condition. There's a back pocket here that has a zipper closure, uh, excuse me, a magnet closure. So it's pretty secure. Let's open up the magnet in the front here. And then here is the bag itself. You've got one open pocket on the side, which is a really good size. I remember my phone does fit in that open pocket. And then here's the main compartment all lined with the Tory Burch logo lining. Here's a zippered compartment. Yep, it's a good size. Put some cash in there. Put anything in there you want to have more secure. This here is not an extra pocket. So you've got one open po pocket here, the main compartment, and then the zippered compartment plus the back pocket. So no feet because that's not the kind of bag it is. It's really more of a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag. And here is another close-up. Okay. So let me just put those back in. And I do try to store all of my items really really well really carefully as you can see they're all stuffed to maintain the structure and the shape i put these all on a shelf separate from anything else so they just smell like bags like nothing else also we are a smoke free and pet free although i'd like to have a dog my husband is not going for it uh smoke free pet free all of that stuff so there should be no orders in in terms of like any of these items 
Okay, and then here is my other Tory Burch. So I'm selling two Tory Burch items. This is a beautiful classic clutch. And it also has the really adorable Safiano leather again, which I love. Champagne gold, turn lock, really pretty. It's like very sleek, very feminine in the crook of your arm. Not that we're going anywhere at the moment. When things lift though, and we resume normal life, if you have more formal events or evening events, I think this is a really nice sized clutch. It's quite long and sleek, so you can put your phone, you can put all of your essentials. Let's pull it. I like the minimalist look of this, this clutch here. It's very simple. It's got a really long zippered compartment that runs all the way the length of the clutch itself, and then you've got the matching black uh, fabric lining. There's a little sticker there. This also I would say is in new condition or like new condition. It's absolutely pristine. You can see there might be some like little or some fingerprints. There might be some little hairline scratches and scuffs on the inside but not noticeable as far as I can tell. Here too some hairline scratches but super super clean. Here are the sides. This too, I think I wore to maybe one wedding or two, I don't know, but not many. Again, this was during during a phase in my life where I was a mom of two little ones and it didn't make sense for me to take out any nice bags at all and there was not much of an occasion. I was just sleep deprived and juggling two kids under the age of two. Yes, we are very close in age. And so a lot of the bags from that era in my life are quite new as I didn't have much of an opportunity to use them and really enjoy them. So let's move that to the side. So those are the Tory Burch ones and then I'm going to move on to Marc Jacobs. So if you're part of my generation you will remember when Marc Jacobs was not just Marc Jacobs but the creative director of Louis Vuitton. And he was the creative director of LV from I think 1997 to all the way through like 2014 or something so fairly recent and then of course he started his own house and he started making his own designs and it kind of took off from there but this is one of his original Marc Jacobs designs after he kind of went off to be an independent designer and this is in this sort of like cement gray uh, leather with this cool double quilting pattern light gold hardware it's just a really casual grab-and-go clutch in my opinion. There's uh, some small stains here and here, but that's that's all I could find. The rest is pretty clean. And then there's a tiny bit of scuffing on the corners here because I did really enjoy this clutch and I wore it quite a bit, but you can see here it's like really minor, minor. You'd have to look at it. And the reason why I think I like this so much is because it's really easy and simple and lightweight, but really roomy so you've got the two magnets on each side you've got this big open pocket then you've got a huge zippered compartment here it says Marc Jacobs and then you can open this here with a little snap closure and this whole thing is a separate major compartment so I'm tempted to keep this for myself just because Number one, it doesn't take up a lot of space and I can store this easily. Um, I could see my daughter using this when she's a little older. And I don't know, it's like old school Marc Jacobs and I know his designs nowadays are very different. So I'm tempted to keep this one, but I think, I think I'm ready to let it go and I will be pricing this quite low considering, um, you know, I used it and there's, there's some, some wear like I showed you in the corners and over here. Okay, all right. Then moving on, I think you might be surprised to see this one. Okay, so this is fairly new and it is a coach. I think you guys are gonna gasp. Oh gosh, let me explain. So this is my beautiful coach Cassie 19, the one I raved about, the one that comes with three different straps, this beautiful top handle. You've got the aged brass hardware, very classic coach, beautiful pebbled leather, absolutely pristine. I know some of you were concerned about like color transfer and staining, none at all, at all. What is that? There's like a little something there, but as you can see for the most part, it's absolutely 
pristine. Here's the back pocket. My iPhone 7 Plus fits nicely in there. Turn lock, open. Compartments, I love compartments. So here's one, here's the other, here's a zippered compartment. You guys know this bag, especially if you've been on my channel before. I did so many videos. Here's the beautiful matching leather crossbody strap. And then there's also this gorgeous, really heavy duty, nicely done chain strap that is shoulder length and I think it looks so super chic and I was actually really really excited to wear this look with my winter whites you know if you can imagine or even like my neutrals with my camel wrap coat and this I just thought it would look so nice oh, and it's so well done so well made and such a good price so why am I looking to sell it well I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell it except that you guys may know I recently was the super lucky winner of a giveaway on Instagram and I won a vintage, yes, a vintage, pretty beat up but beautiful vintage Chanel white classic flap and I still haven't had a chance to get it treated. I have to send it off to the leather surgeons. They need to take a look at it and probably do a lot of work on it. So it's not wearable right this second. But I, I don't think I need two white or chalk colored bags in my collection. So I feel like since the universe sent me such a nice giveaway gift, I should appreciate that one and then let go of the other, which is this one, and make sure it goes to a happy home. So Oh, yes, this one is going to be up for sale as well, unfortunately. So, and by the way, if nobody buys any of these bags, I'll gladly, I'll gladly hang on to them. <laughs> um, but these are the ones I've sort of made up my mind that they should probably go. Oh, I'll have to put that back in. So let's move on. The next one here is my Senrev Mini Maestra, which has been so popular, especially on social media. I know some people love this bag, some people hate it. I have had a consistent love-hate relationship with this bag. This is the Mini Maestra in the black pebbled leather with the silver hardware. The silver hardware combo seems to be sold out all the time, so if you've been looking for this combo, maybe this is the bag for you. It's pretty much in pristine condition. There are some minor hairline scratches on the bottom of the feet here, but not noticeable at all. Otherwise, no wear. This is a very versatile bag because the strap can be worn shoulder, crossbody, you can do top handle or you can pull this through and wear it as a backpack. So I love the concept of that, but this bag is turning out to be not as useful for me as I tend to gravitate towards my smaller mini bags. But here's what it looks like on the inside with this really nice soft grayish microfiber. And then here's the inside. So Senrev is known for like the modern working day, not modern working day, <laughs> modern working woman. Lots of compartments and organization in here. So here it says Senrev, all beautifully lined. Lots of pockets, two pockets here. Zippered compartment here. Another big compartment here with the snap closure. So it's really well done. And there's also this little, this little thingy here where you can clip your keys on, very secure zipper plus this closure here so I've heard it's a great travel bag this leather is really well done I have to say um, surprisingly uh, this is stain resistant water resistant and scratch resistant so this too it's almost like it's almost like Safiano in a way but it's got this beautiful like pebbly look I do want to show you one thing this side here this little knob is one side of it is supposed to be stuck to this piece so that it closes like so, but somehow both pieces got stuck on one side of the tab. It hasn't bothered me. It does not prohibit me from closing and opening the zipper as you can see. So this is what happens, but it hasn't bothered me. In fact, probably because I never closed the zipper, because it's so secure and I just want faster, easier access, I've usually left the zipper open and I would just pull this through and close it like this. Hard to do from this camera angle, but you get the point. So let me show you on the other side. 
You see, it looks a little bit different. This side is the normal side. This is how it's supposed to be. And this side has the, the extra snap that's stuck to it. I'm just showing you this because I want to make sure, you know, full disclosure. I will not be accepting any returns or refunds, especially as I am moving to a new place. I don't want to have to deal with accepting, you know, return packages and processing all of that. So it will be, um, you know, once you buy it, it's yours. Uh, this one here will be priced uh, pretty low considering that that one snap piece has decided to stick to this side of the tab. But again, I don't think that it makes a substantial difference in your experience wearing this bag. So that is, I don't know, what is that, bag number five or six? And then the last one I have is not so much a bag. Here it is. This is actually a brand new item with all my paperwork. This is, and you'll get the full set like this with the ribbon, the dust bag, and the box. So this is the Louis Vuitton Toiletry Pouch 26, and it is a made in France. I know you might gasp, like, why am I selling this? Well, let me show you. You guys who've been on my channel before, then you know that I purchased this one made in Spain. And I thought if I could get lucky and find a made in France one, I'll get the made in France one and swap it out. But once I started using this one, I just fell in love with it and it just felt like it was mine. So I had to get over that psychological hurdle of wanting everything to say made in France for my Louis Vuitton pieces. And yeah, I just really, really am happy with this one. So I don't need to, obviously. And I could technically just return this back to the Louis Vuitton store and not deal with, you know, sale and all of that. But I know that so many of you have been wanting this piece and it's so hard to get as it's often out of stock and some of you have been you know put on the wait list and all of that jam so i thought rather than put it back into circulation if you want this i will sell it to you so here's a close-up of the front here's the back it's all one monogram piece as you guys know probably here's the side Here's the other side. And let me show you the inside. Smooth zipper. It's got that wipeable interior. And then you've got these two little cards. So yeah, and I have to say, if, there, if you were to ask me the difference between my Toiletry 26 and this toiletry 26 there is a difference i'm going to be fully transparent with you so in my eyes in my opinion this one has more of a darker brown undertone and this one here has a lighter brown undertone and i don't know if that makes me crazy um i might be seeing things i showed my husband and my two kids and they were like oh my gosh they're exactly the same so here in the bright light i don't know if you can tell and then the feel of the canvas, they're both really nice, but I liked kind of like the ridginess on the Spain one that I got first. And then also this one here, I have an organizer inside. Let me pull out the organizer so I can show you. And I had a debate with a few people on Instagram because some of you were saying that you just recently bought the Toiletry Pouch 26 and you weren't sure if you're going to keep it. And you had um, questions about the quality. So you see how mine is like really floppy and flimsy and soft. Um, one of you on IG was saying that you really don't like that. You received one that's like really soft and it doesn't stand up on its own and it sort of flops over. And then you like the thicker, more rigid canvas. Well, this is thicker and more rigid. As you can see, even the line here is more prominent. The fold versus this is kind of like, I don't know if you can tell, it's more floppy. I kind of like the floppiness. I don't know why. I guess because I have an organizer. I don't care for it to be super rigid. Um, I do think that the canvas on this one is a little bit thicker, as you can see. Well, maybe you can't see, but I can feel it. And this one is thinner. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess I'll find out as I use this piece for a longer period of time. You know, it's marginal. If I had only seen one, I would have never thought anything of it. But because I had two in my possession, I could then kind of like pour over the details and do comparisons, look at it, you know, under a bright light and all of that. So, yeah. And really, like I said, because I had already started using this one, the Spain one, I kind of felt like 
it became mine. So yeah, I am going to price this above retail. This is the only piece that I'll be pricing above retail only because like I said, I could just simply return this and get my money back um, because I'm still within that return window with Louis Vuitton. Uh, but if you want it and you're willing to pay a little bit above because I have to cover shipping and uh, my taxes and insurance and all of that good stuff, you guys know how this works. Just let me know, but I'm closing in on the return window. So if it doesn't sell rather quickly, I'll just probably just, um, I'll just go return it and not deal with too much of a hassle. So I have like quite a mess here now. I have like all these, I won't turn the camera, but I have all these bags piled up. That's it. Those are the pieces for my vlog sale. For those of you who are waiting to see my Valentino, my velvet rock stud bag, I was considering selling it because I have still haven't worn it yet. Let me grab it. It's here. It's definitely a seasonal item because it's velvet and I was going to sell it because I feel like cost per wear, since I'm not wearing it a lot, it's probably not going to be, I don't know, I just thought it wasn't right for me to keep it. But my kids love this bag and they were like, no, mama, you can't sell this bag. It's the prettiest one you have. And you know, I think it is the most full of eye candy. It is quite blingy and really pretty. So I'm gonna see if I should maybe hang on to this, wear it through, the holiday season maybe late this year and see how I feel after that. So I'm going to exclude this from the sale from for the time being, but all the other pieces that I shared with you are for sale. I will put everything in the description box, including prices, measurements, condition, what comes with it, all of the details. I am accepting payment through PayPal, friends and family invoicing only, or Venmo. That is it. I just want it to be clean and simple. And if you have any specific questions, just comment down below so that other people can see the answer as well. And if you are serious about any one of these items, you can DM me on Instagram or you can email me directly at hellocatwalkcity at gmail.com. I'll also put that information in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope there's something here for everyone. Um, or at least some eye candy, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.